Okay, guys, you're not going to believe this one. <laughs> so I just spent the better part of maybe an hour, uh, hour and a half working on this one. So you got your, um, uh, we have basically this graphic right here. And I, ha I figured out that, see, there's a big extra space over here, and then there's no space right here. So they're not evenly spaced. See, there's even, the space between them is not even as you go across. In some cases it is, in some cases it isn't, but in most cases it's, but I did find that the columns lined up, so I was able to map the columns. So I did the first 21, because uh, there's 7 by 3, I did the first 21 planets. And I just mapped each of the columns, and then it turns out the uh, the rows are actually a thousand pixels apart, so that's good. And I haven't done this last row, even though they look like they're pretty well. It's just another equation to put in there, and I can have those in there too. But I had to hardwire this into the fragment shader. So previously I had, um, in fact, I can probably load it really quick. Basic classes. Space Rescue, let's just load 2C because that is the same as 2B what it was. So I had this equation right here. These equations figure out where in the X, Y uh, for, the, um, for the offset and then the size right here. The size is what you multiply the GL point coordinate times. Because remember, this goes from 0 to 1 as you're sampling the texture and this number being less than 0 will significantly reduce that down and choose just a portion of the texture depending upon your length attributes that you send in there. So the size of each texture. <coughs> Excuse me. And then whatever you add to that becomes the offset where you begin sampling the texture. And then I used the fractional and the court and the floor and all this and, and we did this previously. Previously. Now I've changed it. So the case is still number three, so that's um, that's the uh, R-type, okay, R-type that gets sent in there, which is actually uh, the type that gets sent in, vector two, the type dot x. Okay, I'll tell you more about that in a second. Okay, so the texture, so I just used, because I have RGBA and then type x, or not type X, because I've used type X here, so I have type Y. So RGB A and then type Y to use, and I have all those variables. I only use two. Okay, I only use R and G, and I send in a number in the X, number of textures in the X direction, in this case 0 to 6, and then the number of textures in the Y direction 0 to 2, and uh, 3, so 0 to 2. So 7 by 3. And then I did some calculating based on the size of the texture, and then you figure out all this other stuff. Have to map out where the first column ends, and then there's a area in in there where there's a gray area where it can end there or up to there. And then I basically made my life easier on myself. And I figured out the first two uh, could be 988 for the width. But then I I hardwired that all in here, so. <laughs> <laughs> so the offset is hardwired in the, in the X, okay. All of them in the Y direction, uh, this number 2436, that is just uh, G, which is the number in the Y direction, so that's 0, 1, or 2 times 2436, which happens to be a thousand pixels. So if G is 0, it's going to start at 0. And then the length right here happens to be the same, a thousand pixels. So it'll sample from zero to a thousand. You see, okay. And then so here we hardwired this in because the length, because the uh, length of all of them are the same in this case. <clears throat> but the offset where they start on each one is is really what the issue was. So and. And then down here, I changed the add point uh, program, so I can show you what that's in here. That was down here. The points in it. We'll go to that. Points in it. So initially, I had this. I had 100 by 100, which is 10,000. Then I had random up to 16, and I changed that because I was messing with it. And then I was working on each one, and I had all these, you know, different coordinates and things in, it, and it didn't work. There was, there was, it, it just didn't work. 
because you got you didn't get the whole circle you didn't get the whole there were flat line sides and everything and now I got it perfect so all the circles are just flat circles it looks like there's a little artifact on some of them maybe I have to work through that but anyways you can see there's definitely 21 different types of planets and they look gorgeous <laughs> They're all different sizes, all different speeds moving through based on their size and things, and based on which one's written over the other one and all that. But this is just the beginning of the Space Trader, and I haven't even thought about doing this one in a while, but this would be nice to do <clears throat> now that I've gotten this far. And the stars are just points. I was going to use a texture. I've got a texture for stars, but to load a texture and use it, in my, this the points just look gorgeous anyways, and I can make them maybe do red and blue like the Star Trek used to do, the original Star Trek. <laughs> So anyways, uh, this is what I was working on. Just picked out one of my favorite uh, programs and I decided, demos, and I decided to kind of perfect it. Or at least one aspect of it has been perfected. So that's a good feeling. See, there's another art, there's an artifact on some of them. So maybe the, the length of it, the length of it should be um, adjusted. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.